All right, guys, welcome back to another war. This is actually war number seven. I skipped war number six because of so much content that was going on last week. But we've got another war video for you. First fight on path one is this going to be Wiccan against Cersei. Uh, nothing special here. It is a regen node, and it doesn't really matter. We are going to try and keep up our neutralize the entire time. And if we do that, then we don't have to worry about the regens. We can convert them all into incinerates. And we're just absolutely going to melt uh, Cersei here. Um, if I have my resistance up, then I can block unblockable specials. So really nothing to worry about whatsoever. Pretty easy one. If you're new to the channel for war videos, I do two accounts in the same battle group. Right This season it's Path 1 and Path 3. Plus, I think this war, I've got five minis for you. And I skipped a few fights because I've got some Magneto fights that were pretty boring, so we did skip over uh, two out of the three Magneto fights. Now we have a Masochism Deathless King Root. Now, uh, I use Viv here because I can get easy access to uh, Heal Block um, and easy access to openings with the Phase. Now, he does naturally gain a regen so he is going to be unblockable for part of the time so i'm just going to make sure that i keep him to only one bar of power i don't want to have to deal with his special two when it's unblockable but as long as i do that i can do my usual viv stuff here i can i got my special two now i can get above a bar of power where he's below a bar of power and i can spam special ones because uh, you generate some power uh, back after the special one, and it doesn't do any power to the opponent. Uh, next up on, we got path one in section two. We got Viv again for uh, this thing fight on never back down. The uh, With Viv, you can do this one. It's just, it's a little tricky to keep tabs of his uh, rock stacks here. And I have to be careful that if I... I don't want him to go obviously unstoppable. So right there, I get to only 14. My counting was not super great. Push him to 15, push that special one, that's great. Get him to uh, low on the rocks next, and I can drop that special two easily. Okay, now he throws that special one. Again, I push him over, but right to 14, not the best spot there. I can only do one hit. He Luckily, he turtles up. I can hit into his block. He turtles up again, hit some more into his block one more time, and the, the regen is starting to come back, which is not ideal. So I quickly do a double medium to put the heal block on. Then I can throw my unblockable special ones. I can get two of them off. Before, the third one, I think, would have pushed him unstoppable, so I don't want that. So I'm going to back away, hit into his block again, let him turtle up, hit into his block one more time, push him over 15 rock stacks with the bar power, bait out the special one, quickly go ahead and get my heal block on, drop another special two, and we are looking pretty good in this one. Uh, I did speed up the fights a little bit for you because I think I did like 13 fights this war, and uh, I think there are still... Um, yeah, I did 13 fights, and I got rid of two of them, maybe. So there's close to 11 fights here for this war. So there we go. We finish it off with a pretty good uh, amount of health left. And then we have a global defender in Omega Red on the Buffet node. But Viv, as long as she has her armor up, is immune to nullify. So Buffet is not going to be an issue. It, there is Arc Overload on this one. So there is some healing. But we are going to go with our Medium Enders to get that passive heal block on. Which also benefits us for the actual node as a global attacker. As a global attacker, every uh, there's going to be like a regen every time you hit into the opponent. And at like 18 stacks, they get a power gain that gives them a ton of power. And when they have that power gain, they also... Uh, it causes you to miss unless you have a heal block on. If you have a, if you're a global attacker with a heal block on, you cannot miss. So that's why keeping up your heal blocks are super important, and that is going to be a factor later on in the war as we do a what would normally be a like not ideal counter, but Viv is going to be oh so good anyways. Here was actually one of the fights I hated <laughs> wanting to take. I wanted. Corvus for a later fight. I probably should have gone with someone like a Deathless King Groot um, for the Super Scroll. Someone that just because uh, he keeps gaining an armor up, I can I can 
I uh, armor break him with Corvus to not take the damage back from if you hit them on this node with an armor up, you're going to take uh, damage. So here I end up taking a little bit of power burn damage there on that special two. And at this point I was feeling okay. Um, now here I'm just going to, I have to go ahead and do one hit and back away because of his falter. And at a certain point in this fight, I end up getting cornered, and it's not pretty. I think I was hoping for, a, like right here, I see four armor ups. I'm like, great, I'll get a parry. And no, he throws a heavy attack at me. I have to throw my special two to get out of it, and all that power burn damage just absolutely rocks me. Um, I get stuck here. I throw a uh, special to get him off the wall, block that special two. I am almost dead, and... At, at, at early on in the war, it was relatively close. We did lose this one by quite a wide margin, but I did not want to die so early on on a path that was my first fight of path three. Luckily, we got through it. Next, we have a kindred and a kindred with nothing on it. So there's nothing that, that he doesn't have an armor up, so he doesn't benefit from the node. So I just go in uh, with void. Gave myself an extra like regen boost because I think I probably had one in overflow and figured I'm going to take a little bit of degen damage anyway during this fight. The only thing against this kindred is obviously you want to be able to intercept his specials or um, if you're going to or, or like to, to counter this spe his specials, not intercept, but counter his specials. I always try to push to special two because it's easy to counter the special two. If you can do that, then it uh, shortens the timer for when he is going to go into his like uh, nightmare outbreak there. So he's in his nightmare outbreak. He has that 50 there on the top left, that green timer. We just need to back away. If we're close to him, we're going to get a degen. We don't want that. We don't want to get hit by any specials during that uh, nightmare outbreak so then I bait a heavy on the wall and then we counter back out he throws another special one I am going to go ahead I can get a parry in there and I have a special ready for as soon as I get rooted boom hit him with a special and he's gone then I had um uh also that was I skipped two uh magneto fights to get to that kindred fight now on the mini side we had uh this red skull here uh, where Red Skull, pretty easy. I can, I, the only issue here is that I'm not going to be, if I, every time I gain a buff, it's going to reduce like my power. So I can't really rely on special twos. It's more just on, um, brute force, like just straight damage, but I can parry him and remove his armor ups. And that's probably the most annoying part. I can't counter the auto block. So every time he throws a special one, I got to dance around that green timer, wait for it to end and then attack in. I can get some damage from my uh, striker as well, and the only problem is, is when my I'm waiting, I'm just trying to bait out that special. I could bait special twos, but I really don't want to. I don't want to deal with the unstoppable afterwards, and I don't want to deal with the projectiles on the special two if I don't have to. Now here I'm just stuck waiting out the uh, um, uh, for my glaive charges to come back. Once they come back, then it is an easy way to finish off uh, the fight. Uh, I know in general, uh, these, uh, in, like this season or meta for this war has been a little bit, uh, difficult because of the, uh, the global. I have had to rank up a few, uh, new champions. I did, uh, do a, uh, featured six star opening. It's not just, uh, myself, I didn't have a chance to, to post it, but I did pull, uh, the leader out of there. I have not attempted the uh titan crystals yet but i might have uh a leader available for a future war we'll have to uh wait and see what happens uh, i might try some stuff with him but uh here there our glaive charges are back and we can finish off red skull next up we have a maestro on hazard shift uh, incinerate and shock and you might be saying to yourself hey magneto is not uh incinerate immune that is right and he has shock resistance against metal champions but maestro is metal if you've watched my channel before there are lots of magneto fights on the channel if i see a metal champion i bring in magneto i parry i heavy i drop special threes and watch them <laughs> bleed out and die from the burst damage that is what I do if I if that's the the chance I have to do I think I had a guardian fight on maybe it was node 12 and a future ant-man on node 21 we magnetoed both of those 
<laughs> the exact same way. And this one here, we are going to go, we've got 41 uh, prowess in the bank, charge our heavy, drop a special three. We're going to take off a decent chunk of damage and then count the bleeds 30, uh, 27 bleeds, more than enough. He's taking away a couple more parry heavies there. And goodbye, Maestro. Next up, I think this is Node uh, 38. We've got Absorbing Man. This is an annoying one. Where you knock him down, he's going to go debuff immune. Okay? and But you're only going to get full... They, you can only remove the protection by knocking him down. Unfortunately, I took a couple hits to the face there. But Viv, if you phase... You can get openings all the time, and her heal block is passive, so it doesn't matter that he goes debuff immune. So she is absolutely perfect for this node. He is also a global defender, so we just have to make sure we keep that heal block up. You can see here I'm going to go for uh, another medium ending combo in order to make sure that I have it. Right now, I can throw my unblockable special ones. That's one. That is two. And that's going to be more than enough. So absolutely shredded. And then one of my favorite fights of all time, if you've seen my channel before, you know that this aspect evolution enhanced special, uh, like unblockable special to Mangog, even though he is a global Doc Ock comes in for the kill uh, with Doc Ock. As long as you can parry, uh, he has because he has the natural power gain. Every time I do my parry, uh, he is going to get that power lock there as long as I keep my charges up. And then I drop a special two, I get the old triple debuff that's two power locks and a heal block. And then when you have a power lock or heal block with Doc Ock, you are siphoning back some of the power or, heal or healing that the opponent would be getting. So you get back to specials super fast so there we go we're gonna get another uh special two on so he's we've got the the rare uh six <laughs> debuffs on there with the triple uh heal block and triple power lock and we finished that fight so fast last was a destroyer uh on conflictor and pr and this uh increased prowess node we're doing this one with viv Combat Deja Vu, Prowess, and Conflictor. So I can phase, but I have to be careful of if he triggers that unstoppable. So I'm going to go with like medium light mediums and just try and on my, just building up to two bars of power while not trying to give him too much power. If he triggers that unstoppable there, then I have to wait for it to end through the phase and attack in afterwards. Special two, no problem because of uh, Spring of Suffering or whichever other uh, fights we've had with Destroyer, I've gotten used to that special two. Now, the issue that I'm gonna run into here is I get my unblockable special ones as usual, but keep an eye on the heal block. What I'm not gonna notice is that my heal blocks are going to disappear and I'm gonna, I right here, I. I, he goes unstoppable, and i not able... Right there, I, he, it just ended. I, w I went for the double medium to reapply the heal block, and he had just received the power gain, so I missed. And because of that, I got, took a special two to the face and almost lost all my health, but luckily, we got through it. Hopefully, you enjoyed the war, guys. See you in the next time. Next one. Bye-bye.